I do need to know what you know, or rather what you think about Shakespeare. Oh. Yeah. Old. Yeah. Mm. Is he there? Um, uh, in the yeah. sense of... Yeah. <laughs> Can't Talking. understand him. Like... The yeah, way they like, speak, yeah, like, like old. Can't understand the language at all. Like, therefore, really. what, what not, what not. OK, uh, but, but, do you know about the stories? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Romeo yeah. and Juliet. OK. I've been to his house. The famous one. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Me so, too. right. But, so you think the stories are good, yeah. do you? <laughs> what, what have you seen? What kind of stories, what, what versions have you seen? You've seen R, R and J, the, the Lerman one. The new one and the old one. Can you explain that he's dead? Hamlet. Swan Lake. Yeah. Not entirely by Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Swan Lake. How long? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been dead for? Uh, nearly 500 years. Yeah, yeah. But does that does that really make a big difference to you? The fact that he lived 500 years. Yeah. Do you think no. that definitely? Because his language, the whole language of the way he writes, is from the language from back in the day. Right, but just wait. Uh, the, the, his language is indeed different there, for two reasons. One, that quite a lot of it's written in verse, it's poetry, yeah. and number two, because a lot of the words either uh, don't mean anything to you anymore or they've changed their meaning. But if you crack that, if you just find out what the words mean, which is very easily done, uh, then it, uh, ha have you ever, any of you, had an experience of seeing a Shakespeare play or, yeah. uh, or seeing a movie uh, or indeed reading yeah. it and and actually understanding it. Yeah. 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 You understood yeah. Romeo and Juliet with that. The newer, the newer Romeo yeah, and Juliet is still set. Like, it's like half normal talk and half old fashioned talk. talk. But most, uh, at least half of that is in exactly the language that he yeah. wrote. Yeah. And you understood that, all right? So my, my argument here is that the, the problems of, of the language are a bit uh, exaggerated. They may, maybe come from two sources. One is maybe the actors aren't doing it properly which is always a possibility. And the other is that you just need the kind of key to, uh, to, to, to know what the vocabulary actually means. But let me take a bit further back than that. Do you, how often do you go to the theatre, you guys? Once every five yeah. years. Yeah. Once every five or well, six Even though, it's, you know, it's a lot, actually. When, when, right, in school, we did. Yeah. Right, OK. Yeah. Well, actually, no, yeah, once a year when I was younger to go and see the old... Uh, She's behind you. Pantomime. Pantomime. We call that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good. She's behind you. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you? Uh, when you went, did you like it? Yeah. 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 Depends yeah. on the play. <coughs> <laughs> and did you? What was the thing about it that? I mean, obviously, it's totally different from going to a movie. So, what's the thing about it that you like? Right. 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 Yeah. right. Okay. It's happening in front of you. Very good. It's like 3D and telly sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? I'm I do know. Funny. I'm like... No, it's exactly right. Well, the, the big thing about the oh, fact that, 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 that it's live is not just that it's actually happening there before your eyes, but that your reaction to it actually changes the piece. That's the amazing thing. I'm speaking as an actor. When you respond, you laugh at something I say, then I adjust a bit and I've taken you on board. So it's not a, like us all standing up there on the stage and giving stuff out to you. It's literally 50%. 50% the audience, 50% the actors. And although we don't really change the words, for the most part, you do in pantomime, but, but almost no other place do you change the words, it's still making it sort of live in the instant. Shakespeare is theatre in a, in a very important sense. It's, it's the, he wrote the most plays, the most, the most great plays of any writer ever. Also, he's right in the middle of English, the English language, because when he was writing, nearly 500 years ago, the language was changing all the time. I mean, it changes, and, you know, it changes now. For all of us, it changes. But he was making it up as he went along. And a lot of the phrases that you use in English were actually invented by William Shakespeare. I mean, there's, a, uh, there's this show that I'm doing. So it's a one-man play yeah. about... William Shakespeare, and it's called The Man from Stratford. It's, it's a play just about him, about his life and about his work and what's good about it, why it's worth listening to, and so on. And it's quite funny in some places, and I hope it's quite uh, touching in other places. Um, but what I feel very important is this. Uh, you, you didn't, I imagine, uh, you, uh, is there, uh, uh, have you been doing plays at school? What do you mean? No. School drama? Yeah, 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 you yeah, put yeah, plays yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've been acting, you've acted in yeah. plays. 
Have you all acted in plays? Yeah. In primary no. school, yeah. Yeah. Only in primary school. I don't. I don't think Jamie C did do very well. Because I want. I want. I want. I want. Yeah, I was Juliet in my school play. Fantastic. I was it. I was not good at writing. And we went to Stratford upon Avon and everything. Right. Right. Yeah, and went oh, to watch great. a few Shakespeare plays. Fantastic. He wrote a lot of plays, right? He wrote 37 plays, and uh, it's too much for us to even begin to deal with all of that. The thing that I'm going to be asking you to do is we look at the plays and see what the stories are and the, which the characters are in these plays. I want you, each of you, to just find a character that re you relate to in some way or another. And the characters in these plays are like the cover pretty well, the waterfront. There's uh, murderers, there are lovers, there are uh, crazy psychotic guys, there are, exactly, there are fathers and daughters and the whole range, the whole caboodle. Straight warriors. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, um, That's me. That's me. Exactly. That's well, me. seriously, though, this is what, what I think, what, why Shakespeare is so great in the end, why we reckon, those of us who do Shakespeare all the time, reckon it's great, is because the stories are, 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 are great stories in themselves, but they're about people that we can all recognize, that it's, you know, the whole of the human race is up there on the stage. And so uh, I hope, I believe, that each one of us will be able to find somebody some character in these plays that you can directly relate to. And I just want you to find one speech sure. that one of these characters says and learn it and then perform it. Just a speech, is it just? Just a speech. Cool. It may be 20 lines, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And you just have to learn it. Romeo, Romeo. And then, <laughs> and then, then what I want you to do is to find out a bit more about the play so as you can tell us, when you stand up and do it, say what the story of this play is, why you're interested in the character, and what's good about it, what's, if you find something that's good about it. Some of you have acted in school plays and some of you haven't, but maybe uh, you've all at one point or another wanted to be like somebody else wanted somebody else's life. Mm. Yeah, of course. Oh, my Bill Gates' life. So? Yep. Bill Gates' life. OK. Well, so, so let's say... Let's just say that you, 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 we, we find somebody that you, whose life you would like to inhabit in a play written by William Shakespeare. Is that credible? So... Oh, Macbeth's wife. I think she's called... Yeah. Now, why is Mac, uh, uh, Macbeth's wife called? She just goes crazy. Nuts, like she's got right. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's what you'd like to do, be. Okay. You'd like to be bipolar. Well, that's great. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, Juliet. No, she yeah. doesn't. It's so sweet the way she No, you're not like that. No, no, Ro Romy's about 15, but she's, but she's 14. 15? So 15. Oh, oh, I, well, I didn't yeah. actually know this. I know the whole Shakespeare story, yeah? yeah. They, like, 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 obviously, they uh, killed each other for each other's love. No, she's they, they, they were 13 and 14. No, he's they younger. were. In, when it was based on a story, they were basically... Yeah, because... There was a deep love for 13 and 14 year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Partly because the plays uh, uh, be belong to another time when things were done differently. Uh, kids did get married much younger, as they do in many other parts of the world at the moment. Uh, and, uh, 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 but the story of Romeo and Juliet is about a couple that get married uh, despite the wishes of their parents. Yeah, because their parents are opposite, opposite. Exactly. That's the big thing. Montague and Capulet. They're two different gangs, as it were. Yeah. Don't you think that was brave? No. Yeah, I think it, it, uh, brave and then dangerous and very, very dangerous and risky. And you're, and you're actually absolutely right, because if you remember the story... Well, what? Oh, you are next. Yes, of course. Is it like, was it based on a real thing? Would he just make, or this Shakespeare just made it up? No, he didn't make it up. He didn't make up many stories, actually. Mostly he took stories from other writers. Oh, we've got teeth. <laughs> no, he's not. 
The point is that... He, he took it and changed it to his own... It's own the way he told it that made it interesting. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, because if the other writers had told it well, didn't it? Uh, no, actually, it, it may well have been based on a true story, and then it, that was written up by somebody else, and then, and then Shakespeare yeah, just took that. So it's... Like, he was a very, very bright guy, and he didn't <laughs> hesitate to take stories from wherever they came from. And, uh, and then he made them, like... He, he kind of made them modern to his own audience. OK, so... <laughs> OK, guys, now, a task, please. I'd like you now to think and kind of commit yourself to the idea of somebody that you'd like to be. What, in real life or in Shakespeare? In real life, and then we'll take it back into Shakespeare. Uh, uh, you don't have to stick with this, but I'd just like you to think something. Mike Tyson, OK? So, uh, 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 just tell me, what, what's your name? Michael. Michael, OK. And you? Nobody. Nobody. So there's nobody that you would want to be no apart from yourself. There's no point being someone else. There's no point being someone else when I can be... No point in being somebody else. When I can be myself. When you can be yourself, OK. Would you like to play a character that was like yourself, then? Yeah. So we have to... That's our job, then, is to find a character in Shakespeare that is like yourself. What's your name? Aisha. Okay. Oh, sorry, just quickly, can I ask um, yeah. are we are we are we um, judging on the actual person or like the assets they got? Because I was going to say someone like Bill Gates because he's just an absolute billionaire. Yeah. Say, he's just got yeah. money, money. Yeah, you could say uh, anything you like. I don't care, bro. I don't care. He's still got more money than me. <laughs> but anybody that you would like to be like. Okay. Okay. Whose life you would like to Jamie live. Oliver. OK, so, Jamie Oliver, yes. What's your name? No, but it's, it's like, like, I don't know, because, like, I'd like to be someone with money, yeah. but I don't want to be famous. Right. <laughs> Me? Like, I don't want to be famous. <laughs> right, so, but you'd like to have a, a, a fantastic <laughs> life <laughs> where... Yeah, like, you got I want to be a you like... A person who works hard for their money. Yeah, not where they've been born into money or something. Okay. And just took it off. That's why I can't think of actually anyone, because I don't know. Because they wouldn't be famous, you mean? Yeah, because. But is there somebody like in your own life that you know? Do you have a, a grandma or a, 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 an aunt or somebody who's worked very hard? For you? Yeah, my nan has. Your nan? Okay. Yeah, she worked like four jobs. All right, okay. And she still works that now. Right, and you rate her for that? Yeah, because I, she's only <laughs> retired right, from right. one. OK. And I say to her, slow down, but she just enjoys working. Great. What do you work at? Oh, Latoya. Latoya. Latoya? Yeah, that's yes, okay. I know, yes. Wow. Lovely. But, so who, who, who in, the, in the world, as we were speaking before, who, who would it be wonderful to be for you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But when you look out at the world and you see, you know, yeah, when, you put, when you put on a like, strip like, like that, you can't think. Like, yeah. When someone asks yeah. you, you can't. But when you're sitting there later at home, I'm like, oh, I'd like to be. Well, that's all right. That, 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 that'll do if you, if you need a bit of time. But... Like, strong, independent people really do inspire me. Like, people who are independent can do things on their own, really right. do inspire me. Um, OK. But I, I wouldn't put my finger on who I'd want to be because I've That's all right. That's all right. That's all I need is just a type. Something, something that you kind of, uh, that you'd like to get the feel of what it would be to be that person. OK, because, OK. Shakespeare's plays are full of all kinds of people. And one of the kinds of people that they're most full of is lovers. And, like, it's interesting that none of you have said that you wanted to be a lover. I mean, you might think I was talking just about a profession, but I meant... Uh, what? <laughs> Formster. <laughs> because you make money at it, you mean. So. <laughs> but you did, actually. You, you said that you wanted to be Juliet, because that you thought it was so touching. Yeah, because I've, I've never, like... I think teenage love is the best love ever, because, obviously, it's like it's not revolved around money or nothing. It's just ah. Like most of them, most of them, most of them, but most of them, most of them just want you because you're just a great person. Have you went, uh, you've got nothing. You've got you got the gap. You got walking can't you? Where you gonna go out of it? Yeah. Stop looking at you about seeing all that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. It's very interesting. He wouldn't have to take me back. Every day, like sometimes right. I just rather chill with you. Yeah, yeah. Spend time with a person. Right, okay. All right, well, that's great. Then, then I think you should play. Yeah, that's what they had. Neither 
Me. Yeah. They really well, they were quite rich, actually. But the money didn't come into it. They wasn't with each other for money. They were with each other because they loved each other. Yeah, yeah. Even at 14, 15, you can still be in love. I don't think ever, ever, like, ever too young to fall in love. Well, I think you should play Judith. We could give Tony song of Judith. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll right. leave the bipolar Lady Macbeth uh, <laughs> for a moment, and because I'd, I'd love to look at that, explore that, see, because. He really got those kind of things fantastically right, Shakespeare. He really understood about love, all kinds of different kinds of love. But what you just described was very eloquent. You described exactly what Juliet is. And let's go with that. That's fantastic. So um, <laughs> what's, what's your name? Uh, Emmy. Hi, Emma. What's, Hi. What's, what do you, think? What do you, think? <laughs> you would like? What would you like to explore in your life by being somebody else? Um. I would like to be Rachel McAdams. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> a really amazing actress. <laughs> is she? Yeah. <laughs> She's passed me by. But, but what, what has she done, for example? Uh, mean Girls, The Notebook. Um, oh, no. Is she no. No. Virginia George. Uh, time yeah. Traveller's Wife. Yeah. <laughs> you mean you'd like to be yeah, the, the actress or like the characters that she plays? Like her. I just want to be her. <laughs> you want to be her? Great. Yeah. Fantastic. OK. Well, Shakespeare's full of incredibly glamorous women who are idolised, you know. So there's no problem there. So. Oh, Jamal. <laughs> Jamal, OK. Yeah? Um, I would love to be Katie Price. All right. Because oh. she's got money, fame, she's Price. successful. Yeah, no, she <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah, she may be fake, but she's successful. Come on, like, she's got her own business. Exactly, she's got her own business, her own, like, perfume line and stuff. OK. Right, OK. So, now we've got kind of a, a vague idea from everybody as to what they might... the kind of territory that you're interested in, which turns out to be a lot to do with money, a lot to do with power, a lot to do with what? I didn't say money, Tupac. No, you didn't mention it. You, you didn't. But you did talk about power in the sense that this Tupac is a huge mythic figure. Yeah, but I think he, he, yeah? Yeah? No, but he only because what he was talking about, he, first of all, he was talking about all the gang and stuff. Yeah. Then like, after he got shot the first time, he changed it and started talking about good, pers good like, stuff, talking about the songs he said, with telling people, like, respect to women, yeah. um, it ain't all about the money and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's why I like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So he's like a kind of idealist. Yeah. He's a, a, a visionary, a man who has great ideas. Excellent. Before you got killed. Before you got killed. <laughs> now not so many uh, great ideas. OK, uh, uh, so what I'm, my job now is to find out, to, 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 to find a character or whatever that attaches to, 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 to what you've described in bodies. Uh, I'll find you a speech by tomorrow or the day after or whatever I get it to you. I would like you, please, to learn it. I remember it. I remember it, yes. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> right, OK, OK. Well, it's not, it's not vital, but it's a very good idea, actually. Can I write on my hand? Because when you... Uh, ideally not, because once you get it into your brain, it's amazing how much more it means to you than when you're reading it off a piece of paper. It's really, really true. Yeah? So I'd like you to try. I'd like you to try, anyway. Um, this is um, a poem of Shakespeare's, a love poem. OK. Now, look, um, guys, uh, this is, I reckon, uh, a very direct poem by Shakespeare. It's written for a whole collection of poems that he wrote, just called The Sonnets. It's, it's a sonnet, kind of a poem. And they all have the same form. And uh, there's a sort of a, it's a rather strange collection, this, the sonnets, because it, there's a story in there somewhere, and it's, it's, but it's not very clear. And the feeling is that the poems were scrambled when they were published, so as nobody really knew what the real story was. And it's, he's, it seems to be Shakespeare writing in his own voice, you know, his own, his own personal feelings. And, and, uh, but the main thing is that a lot of these poems are written to a young man, uh, but the po or other poems are written to the poet's girlfriend. And the girlfriend and the young man seem to have had an affair together, which kind of breaks the poet's heart, right? But is there anybody who would feel up to reading out, out loud now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Go on, let's hear it. Oh, God, sorry. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 I don't have to come out. I'm out, come on. She's going to ask a question about every life. Shut up! You, you sit there. I should say that. Yeah. No one can pay me. All right, let's have a go. OK, guys. Just listen. And follow it, right? Try to see what it means. OK. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's leaves hath all too short a date. <laughs> sometime, sometime too hot, the eye of heaven shines. <coughs> and, and often is his gold complexion dimmed. And every fair from fair sometimes declines. <coughs> but thy chance or nature, nature's changing course untrimmed. But that eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou art oust. That's like that spray. No, <laughs> oh, Alice. <laughs> Go on. Nor shall death brag <laughs> thou wanderest. <laughs> Wondrous? Wondrous? Wondrous in shade. <laughs> Very good. Come on, keep going. When in a tunnel land to time thou growest, grow. Yep. Very good. <laughs> so long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. That's very good. Fantastic. Ooh. Well done. Great start. Really, really good. Really, really fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so, um, do you do, just we're, we're, we're kind of coming to the end now, but I just want to know if you kind of get what that's about. Do you get the sense of what that poem is? Maybe. Yeah. Love. It's, it's love. It's love. <coughs> yeah, and he's saying, what, what could, could you just uh, anybody suggest a little paraphrase of what it actually is saying? <laughs> How much he loves them. Same, yeah. Same good is it, is he, he loves them as much 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 as he says, no, you're, yeah, perfect. Again. He says, no, actually, you're more beautiful yeah. than a summer's day, right? Yeah, but it's so weird. Everything that he says. She's higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, like, yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. The, the most yeah. loved yeah. ultimate. That's she right. loves him, yeah. she, he loves her. Yeah. 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 Shall I? Exactly. He's saying, shall I do this? And that's the way, that's the way this stuff works. You take an idea and then you challenge it and you say, no. Is it this? No. But you're, and the other great thing that they operate in is, to compare one thing to another. That's the way all the way through Shakespeare. The things are compared to other things. And then that's called simile, as some of you will know. And then they, they say, you are this other thing. And that's metaphor, yeah. where you actually say, you are a summer's day. My feet are right? as cold as ice. My feet. Well, that's a, uh, a simile. That's a simile, exactly. But my, 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 my feet are ice blocks is a metaphor, right? OK. All right, so those are some of the kind of things that we'll talk about later. Thank you very much. Uh, I will see you all on Wednesday, which will be great and exciting. <laughs>